everyone. Welcome to Prop Wash Ranch. Today, today is a big day. Today is a good day. Today, today is Avid Rat Part 3 day. And in Avid Rat Part 3, we're going to attempt at a flight. Last week, we finally finalized everything, and this plane is legal to fly. So, we are going to, to try it today. We've been uh, waiting a couple days for a day that was calm, uh, with, with no crosswind. It's quite windy here in the desert, and today is kind of calm with occasional slight gusts, but uh, it's the best we're going to get. So we're going for it. Today, he's going for it. The whole town came to watch. <laughs> Rachel wanted to be here, but she couldn't, but my mom. Mom is here. This is a big, this is a big day. Mom is here to watch this flight, and mom is in this video. Got to be able to see out the windshield. Pre-flight is done. The plane is all ready to fly. He's in it. The GoPros are on. We're very excited. Let's do this thing. Today is the big day. A little bit nervous, but I want to dedicate this flight to Leonard. He is the one that actually built this airplane and never got to fly it. So, Leonard, this one's for you. We're waiting for the temperature to come up. Uh, you've got to have the engine warmed up before you start applying a lot of power to it. And that's just taking a minute. Yeah. So that's pretty disappointing. The temperature wouldn't come up. Uh, it wouldn't get over 100 degrees. And we want it up to about 140 to take off. Uh, it's a two stroke. You got to let it warm up. Can't run it cold. Can't put it under full power when it's cold. Uh, so we taxied, taxied, taxied. He taxied, taxied. And it, it wouldn't come up. We think maybe the thermostat's stuck. So we're pulling the thermostat. Probably means we're not going to be flying today. Probably end up flying tomorrow. <sighs> Okay, we uh, we took the thermostat out, and it was indeed stuck. Uh, we jiggled it, and it unstuck. I don't know why it was stuck. We might order a new one. Um, it shouldn't just stick for no reason. But uh, provided this works and it warms up now, we're just gonna go ahead and, uh, and make the flight today. Okay, uh, we're gonna go for it. Um, got the uh, got the plane all put back together. We got it to actually climb up to an acceptable temperature. Um, so I'm gonna put the GoPros back on and we're gonna try this again. Boy, he just went for it.
imagine he's probably gonna go again. I had you set down at the 400 foot line. I'm gonna set you down at the 500 foot line. Look at that, I'm narrating. Shortly after takeoff, he realized that his temperature was climbing very quickly, but it was too far down the runway for him to get landed and get stopped again. Uh, so he decided to keep going around. Um, he was looking around for potential landing places, expecting the engine to possibly seize at any moment, uh, which is something that you are prepared for anyway on a first flight like this, but he was suddenly very prepared for it. Right here, is our cross runway. He was thinking about landing on that, um, but the winds were not favorable, and he decided to be safer to continue on around to the to the runway which he departed from, to the longer runway with the favorable winds. Right here, you can see him look at the temperature gauge and mouth the word crap. made it all the way in, he had to add a little bit of throttle. Um, not the prettiest landing. But he was more concerned with getting it down and getting it stopped and turning off the engine than uh, making it look pretty. And he did a great job. You can see steam coming out right there when he touches the ground. We'll keep it under control. This right here is what his sad face looks like. Right there. What's smoking? Do we blow it up? Oh. Dripping onto the heat. Got the tight net plug out. What plug? On the bottom. So it's just steaming water out. We lost it all. Oh. About right over there, the temperature just went shot up. I'm like, oh crap, I gotta get this on the ground. Shaking? Yeah. So how hot did it get? Over two. Oh, did it get over 220? So he doesn't want me to put this in here. <laughs> what just happened? It wasn't the worst thing in the world, uh, but it could have been bad. Uh, we did all of our pre-flight checks prior to taking the plane apart. We ended up taking the, the uh, thermostat is inside here. Uh, we took that apart. We drained the water and the coolant out uh, in order to take that apart. Found the thermostat was stuck. Um, just jiggled it and it came loose again. Uh, not ideal. But it's also not that big a deal. Um, the problem is it's overcooling the engine. Uh, put it all back together. We got that fixed. Put it all back together. Um, we're able to get enough temperature on the engine. Uh, we're able to actually go test fly it. But there's a plug. There's a plug on the bottom that you use to drain it. And we didn't tighten it thoroughly enough. And we didn't do thorough enough pre-flight checks. And it makes us look pretty dumb. I know. I know, and the plug rattled out and we lost all the water on that last flight. Um, and the temperature just started shooting up, so he immediately returned to the runway, which is what he was doing anyway. Um, and, and the temperature got up over 200 degrees uh, with no coolant in it. So we're pretty sure the engine's fine. It still has good compression. Uh, temperature's cooling back off. It's super not ideal. It's very, that is very not ideal. And it was pretty dumb of us after all this work that we've gone through to miss a simple little plug, a simple little plug uh, that could have absolutely ruined this engine. But it didn't. Uh, we think we'll have, we, we got to let it cool off and, and got to test our compressions and everything later. Um, but it flew. It flew twice. 
So that's what happened. I'm not sure I'm going to put this in the video or not because it makes us look dumb. But, um, we're only half dumb. We're just going to tow it back to the hangar. Uh, and that's probably it for this video. So thanks for watching Prop Wash Ranch. Hope you all have a good day.